Hey guys, how's it going? It's Will Garcia Online again. So today I'm going to bring to you a node voltage explanation. So whenever you're looking at DC circuits and you want to solve for a bunch of unknown values, there is probably a million different ways you can solve uh, the circuit. You can collapse the resistors, you can use node voltage, you can use mesh current, there's a lot of different methods, but today we're going to go over specifically node voltage. So I have a circuit here, and I need to know what the voltage is at the point V1. Well, from my other videos, you'll see I like to collapse the resistors sometimes and just very easily solve for the voltage and the current in the system. But today we're going to use another method. We're going to use the node voltage method which simply says that if I take KCL at my unknown nodes I can build a system of equations and as long as I have the same number of equations as I do unknowns then I'll be able to solve for my voltages using KCL at all of my unknown uh, unknown nodes. So if you look at this node here, this actually isn't the node here. This is the node. It's this entire node. So uh, that might be tricky at first, but there's no resistor in between these two uh, junctions that I've drawn here. So for that reason, it's the entire same node or net. So you got to get used to thinking that way, that if there's nothing kind of blocking these two, like a, a, an inductor, capacitor, a, a voltage source, a resistor, it's all the same node. Just like this negative sign on the voltage source means that this is the, the negative terminal. It also means that all of this is ground because my negative terminal is this entire node. Anyways, um, if you're familiar with that, just ignore all that. But we're going to take node voltage at V1, or KCL. Now, KCL says all the current entering a node has to also be leaving the node, or if I sum all of my currents leaving the node, they have to all equal zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum all the currents leaving my node and set it equal to zero. So if I want to find this first current here, I'm going to use Ohm's law, which is V equals I R. V equals I R or I equals V over R. So what is my V for the 5 ohm resistor? Well, it's actually going to be the drop across the resistor. The drop is also known as a change or the subtraction of voltages. Um, so it's going to be V1 minus 50 volts for my positive voltage source with the positive sign on top. That's how I know it's a positive 50, but since I'm taking the drop across it or the subtraction, I'm going to subtract 50 over 5 ohms. That's my resistance. That's my R. I'm going to add that to the current leaving the other branch which is just going to be V1 minus 0 because for ground I know V equals 0 over 10 ohms. I'm going to add that to the current leaving this branch here which is going to be V1 minus 0 again over 40 ohms. And then since I actually have current entering this node, or entering from this branch instead of leaving, that's actually going to be minus 3. And I'm going to set it all equal to 0. So if I continue forward and I simplify, I'm going to get V1 minus 50 over 5 plus V1 over 10 plus V1 over 40 equals three. If I just take this three and put it on the other side of the equal sign. So let me just find a common denom denominator real quick. I'm going to pick 40. 
So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 8 here. So I get 8v1 minus 50 over 40 plus multiply top and bottom by 4 for the middle term. So I get 4v1 over 40 plus v1 over 40 equals 3. So um, what am I going to have? I'm going to have 8 v1 minus 50 plus 4 v1 plus v1 all over 40 equals 3. So if I expand that out, what am I going to get? 8 v1 minus 400 plus 5 v1 equals 120. If I take this 40 and just multiply it to the other side, I get 120. Or if I continue solving, I get 13 v1 is equal to 520, right? If I take this 400 and add it to the 120 to the other side of the equal sign, I get 520. V1 is equal to 520 divided by 13, which is also equal to 40, I believe. Just double checking my math here. 520 divided by 13 is 40. Awesome. So my answer for V1 is going to be 40 volts. Now, if I wanted to find what the current leaving these branches was for the 5 ohm and the 10 ohm and the 40 ohm, all I would simply have to do is take I equals V over R. So for this situation, I would get I is equal to 40 minus 50 over 5 or negative 10 over 5 or negative 2 amps. Pretty simple, huh? Alright, well uh, I'll probably be solving some more difficult ones for you guys later on, so be sure to check back on my channel and uh, subscribe. Thanks.